Layer Comparison Table. We already saw how we were able to layer and visually compare these different layers, and we briefly touched on the Layer Comparison Table. Now we will come back to the Layer Comparison. So if I click on the Compare Layers button above the focus chart, it opens up the Comparison Table for me. This gives a good numerical comparison for all the different layers I have compiled. By default, when you open up the Layers menu, it brings you to the average value statistics. And we have the option to change the different types of statistics that are of interest to us. All the different options for statistics are available once we click on the gear icon there. If you click on it, there are a number of different ones available depending on the need and the functionality or the usefulness for the process at hand. So you can choose the ones that are relevant to you and furthermore, you can also select the number of decimal places the data displays and whether or not to display units. The different measurements can be divided between key statistics and similarity measurements, like the average values, the minimum values, the maximum values, the range values, start and end values, the delta values, the integral values, as well as the standard deviation, they belong to the group of key statistics. Whereas statistical similarity, evolution similarity, and correlation belong to the group of similarity measures. For key statistics, the difference with, re with respect to the reference layer, so the light gray column, is displayed in each cell. Positive differences are shown in light orange and negative differences in light blue. To change the reference layer, simply click on the three vertical dots situated to the right of a layer name. With that, you open a drop down menu that provides a few layer options. You can hide a layer, you can rename the layer to have a specific and concrete name for it so that you can remember it better if you open it again. You can also set a base layer, what we want to do here, and statistical data for each layer is a comparison to the layer that is selected as the base. So that a change in the base layer triggers a recalculation of the statistics in the compare layer table. The base layer or the reference layer is denoted with the blue box B in the title cell of the layer column. Last option here is also to remove the layer. To sort based on the values in a given column, you must click on the column heading and a small arrow appears. By clicking on the arrow, you can choose to sort your columns ascending or descending. The layer comparison table compares the key values of the corresponding tag, which you can find in the rows, within the corresponding layer, which you can find in the columns. Additionally, the difference with respect to the reference layer, the light gray column, is displayed. In contrast, similarity measures can only be displayed for non-reference layers. You can also filter out periods in the focus diagram, which will not be included in the calculation of the statistical measurements, except for the evolution similarity. So whenever a filter is active, a filter icon is shown at the top left corner of the table, to indicate that filtered out periods are taken into account. Another option that's available is the download option. So once I click the actions button, select export and choose the option to compare layers data, I can generate an XLSX file that I will export. In this file, all statistical parameters of the tags and layers which are visualized in the comparison table will be included uh, by the download. 